All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makar Kudash, Dabarns, the Apostles, the Great Millstone, for teaching us the warm saint truth according to the Bible, well, in peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Today, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, I'm going to a uh, Lord's will edifying lesson, lesson titled, Fret Not. You know, we, as the believers... Of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, who are taking this time out, you know, to seek the Lord, who are, you know, not looking to save our lives, which I'm gonna get that, you know, it's where we're gonna start off at. Um, we have nothing to fear. <coughs> uh, this is a this is a Matthew 16 and 24. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples. You see, in that uh disciple, you know, uh discipline, the disciplined ones. You know, those who will come under uh, the discipline of Yahweh Shai, following the Lord's ways, you know, uh, doing those things that please the Lord first, you know, putting putting the Lord's pleasures first, doing the things that please Yahweh Shai, Shai to the forefront. We have nothing to worry about when this deal goes down. The Lord uh, uh, you see, we have entered into agreement to seek the Lord God, our power. You know, and what the terms of service is that we were on his good side. He will be an enemy to our enemies. You see, it says, then say Yahweh Shai unto his disciples. And that's us. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And that's what you have to do. You have to take on the burdens of being in this truth. You know, in departing from the world, you see. But Yahweh Shai said, take, take my yoke upon you, for my burden is easy and my yoke is light. This is a light thing for all the things that are that the Lord is going to do for us. You see, it ain't hard to, uh, uh, you know, put down the shrimp, pork, crab, lobster for us. It ain't hard to put down uh, the, the, the blunt smoking. You see, the Lord uh, has been on our side, you know, this whole time he's allow been allowing us to overcome these temptations you know in this hour of temptation the lord promised that he was going to keep us what, is, what does it mean to keep to preserve just as he did in ancient egypt he's going to destroy this modern day pharaoh it says for whosoever verse 25 for whosoever will save his life shall lose it and you see a lot of our people Trying to save their lives. I talked to Jake today. You know. He doesn't even uh, understand what his purpose is. He says he's a man living without purpose. Your purpose as an Israelite man, woman, and child is to fear Yahweh by Shema Shine to keep his commandments. And let all things be done decently and in order. You see. But it says let him deny himself. So we are denying ourselves. And making sure that we're putting the Lord first to the best of our ability. It says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And we're about to see a lot of our people try to save this life by running to Esau, Edom, you know, running to uh, Egypt. You see the modern day Pharaoh to go get this stabbing jab. You see? And if they're taking the stabbing jab, they're going to take the krogma. You know, these, these people's minds. Are totally uh, polluted. It says, Whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. You see, and we're going to lose our lives here. Everything that we have, you know, the Lord gave it to us. You see, so why not uh, be willing to lose the things that even these small things we have? You see, so we shouldn't be able to look in there and save our life. We're going to lose it. We're going to find it in the kingdom of heaven. You know, where the head is going to be the tail and the tail is going to be the head. You see? And the first shall be last and the last shall be first. You see? Because these are the same wicked Israelites that were in the promised land. You know, uh, uh, serving idols. You see? Everyone's coming back in their lot in these last days. It says, <coughs> it says, uh, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. And this is why we as believers, we have nothing to fear. This is Psalms 
37 and 1, fret not thyself because of evildoers. This word fret means to worry. Don't worry about the evildoers. Neither be thou envious, envious against the workers of iniquity. So we don't have to worry about Esau, Edom, and, and his uh, diabolical plans. The Lord said, don't even worry. Be still and watch the salvation of your Lord. It says, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, because Jake and their wickedness, they seem to prosper. You know, Jake got uh, all the women. You see, they got all the, uh, you know, good jobs, you know. Don't don't worry about them. It says, for they shall be soon cut down like the grass. <clears throat> For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. The scriptures say, Knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? You see? So trust in the Lord. Trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Trust in the Lord and do good. Do his commandments. Fear the Lord. Keep the commandments. You see, uh, 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 continue to endure your temptations. Continue to pray to the Lord. Just continue to trust in Yah by Shema Shai. It says, trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shall be fed. You see, we're not going to be cut off. You see, we're not going to be uh, put to death. You see, we're going to be able to uh, live you know, and see the salvation of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Scriptures say, you know, that some will be martyrs, you know, but we're going to be taken care of. The Lord is really going to work a mighty work in these last days. And he's going to show who he's dealing with. It says, so shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. So we're going to be fed. We're at first, we're, we're eating of this word, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And that's going to lead to a real manna. You see? Who, who knows? The Lord might uh, uh, feed us with manna again. All this food is already defiled. You know? It's not a light thing for Yahweh by Shema Shai uh, to feed his remnant. You see? To feed his elect. You know? So food is the last thing we should be uh, worried about. You see? Clothing should be the last thing we should be worried about. Let me get a precept on that. This is... um. <coughs> This is book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse, uh, <clears throat> we'll start up a little bit. This is uh, Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 19. Yet thou in thy manifold mercies forsook them not in the wilderness. The pillar of the clouds departed not from them by day to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire to show them light and that's talking about Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know even though Jake was doing all manner of wickedness you know uh you know they uh they built the molten calf you see the Lord through his manifold mercies forsook them not in the wilderness why because he made a cover a covenant with Abraham Isaac and Jacob you know uh that uh our seed would be as the sand of the sea you see in the blessing uh, Jacob received that blessing of the kingdom of heaven. You see? <clears throat> it says, The pillar of cloud departed not from them by day to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire by night, which was the chariots, to show them light and the way wherein they shall go. And the, that's the same thing that happen in these days. See, see the Lord is going to have the, the, the chariots come. You know, and, and guide certain brothers, you know, and clear everyone else out the effing way. You see, we're about to see uh, miracles done in these last days. It says, this is the, uh, verse 20, uh, verse 20 wants the point. It says, thou gavest also thy good spirit in, to instruct them. You see, and we have the instructions now. And what, and what hell is not thy manna from their mouth and gave them water for their thirst you know and now we're eating spiritually <clears throat> but hey you know we are going to eat uh, uh uh physically as well of course we are 
The Lord fed and sustained Israel for 40 years in the wilderness. 40 years. They weren't uh, uh, growing crops and, uh, and, and, you know, doing all this. No, the Lord fed them. He took care of them for 40 years in the wilderness. Yea, 40 years did thou sustain them in the wilderness so that they lacked nothing. So that they lacked nothing. You see, they lacked nothing. Their clothes waxed not old, and their feet swelled not. You think your feet going to be hurt, hurting during the time of Jacob's trouble? Oh, man, you know, I, mean, I got sores on my feet. No. You think your clothes are going to uh, 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 you know, start getting old and ripping and all filthy? You know, we got to change your shirt every day? No, the Lord is going to do miracles during these times. Shoot, you might not even uh, really sweat, you know? You don't need no uh, deodorant and all that. You know, the Lord, it ain't nothing too hard for y'all by Shema or Shai. I'm going to get, uh, let me finish this Psalm 37 now. I'm going to get one more script and I'm going to close it out. This is uh, Psalm 37 and 4. It says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So we got to delight ourselves in the Lord. We got to be happy to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai. It says, Take great pleasure. You know, it's, it's, it's really a humbling, you know, experience being this truth and understanding that all these things were given to us freely. You know, of course, through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. It says, Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And what's that? The kingdom of heaven. And the Lord is going to do a mighty work for us to get there. It says, verse 5, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. So Yahweh Shema Shai is going to uh, bring his word to pass. And when he, when he promised to save us and deliver us. This is um, Psalm chapter 118, verse 4. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endure forever. So the mercies of Yahweh by Shema Shai endure forever. You see, the scriptures say, uh, blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. You know, it says, I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me. And set me in a large place in a time of distress is coming. And he said he was going to send Michael, the archangel, to protect us. You see? It says, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? What can a man? What can Esau is just a man. Yahweh Shai said, I will not meet thee as a man. You see? And what? Esau, he's coming down with great wrath. The, the, the war, Daniel is talking about when, uh, uh, when Yahweh Shai comes back. You see? He's coming down with great wrath against his rim, against his chosen. The Lord is going to meet him as an angelic uh, power. You see? The omnipotent under uh, the Heavenly Father. It says... Verse 6, the Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with me that helped me. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see the desire upon them that hate me. Verse 8, it is better to tr trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. And that's what a lot of our people in these last days are doing by following the ways of this devil. You know, they're putting confidence in the man, you should put your confidence in Yahweh by Shema Shai and, and what his word is, what he said is going to happen. You see, so uh, Lord's willing. Um, this is Psalms 118 and 4. It says, the Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. Mm. Which is us. It says, Lord's willing. We're part of that number. It says, the right hand of the Lord do valiantly. Let's see what that word means. With the right hand of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, with courage or determination. It says, um, 
you know, that's that's pretty much it. But um Lord's willing, you know, this lesson is edifying, you know, don't worry, you know, continue to uh, trust in Yahweh Shema Shai, and he will be with us uh to deliver us. With that I'm gonna say shalom.